Hey guys, welcome back to Media for Commentary, since today we're going to be doing a Ring 4 Tower, which is Tower of Leaning Ledges. Now, uh, the tower is fairly difficult, I guess, but it's really not that bad. But let me show you a quick secret before we move on. If you go in between Tosh and TOE, here's Fijo, and it says TOE's best tower, and that's just objectively wrong. But anyway, let's get into this tower. Now, what's interesting about this tower is that um, it has no kill bricks. It has absolutely zero kill bricks. But anyway, starting off this jump, uh, you can either you can literally just walk around this one, so just do that for both of these. And then this one, you actually have to jump around, or you could just barely walk around it. But if you want to uh, actually do the jump, just align yourself about here, then do a weird wrap around like that. Then just go on this pu shover, pusher, whatever you want to say. Go up on here, go up on here, go down to here, and just simple jumps. Real. <laughs> hey guys, don't worry. I am a skilled obbyist with 66 towers. I am skilled. I know how to do my my job as a YouTuber. I'll meet you guys back up there. Hopefully, actually jumping onto a ramp this time. Uh, hug the wall for this kind of thing. Just kind of hug the wall like that. Then you can jump to here. And then from here, you want to jump over to this truss. I would recommend doing it in first person. It just makes it a bit easier. And then just keep going in first person. Go to the very edge and then jump. It makes the jumps a lot easier. Then just hug the wall for this part. And now you're at floor two. Pretty quick floor one. So, yeah. This tower can be long if you make it long, basically, if you mess up. But, yeah, just, uh, the way this floor works is that all, you see all these poles, like, well, I mean, besides this one, these are all can quite full, so ignore all the decoration. Like, th like, this pole right here, if I were to jump into it, it would be can quite full, so just be wary of what I actually jump on. But anyway, just go on the spinner, go in this little cave thing, or, I don't know why I said cave, it's not a cave, it's just an enclosure. But anyway, for this one, you don't need to jump, you just walk off like that. Just gonna hold W and D at the same time. Then these jumps, don't do it from the ramp, do it from the top of the ramp, so makes it a bit easier. Then just jump onto this thing. And then for this one, you actually do have to jump, and you don't need to do anything special. You can just jump off like that. Then you can jump onto this truss. Jump down here. This jump is a bit far, so it's gonna make the swinging platform swing a bit. So let me just do that. Then you can do the jump. And I did it a lot earlier than I should've, but you can make it swing as much as you want. And it may look like we're on 4-3, but we're not. You just gotta go to 4-3 briefly, and then you wanna jump back down 4-2 to this little white... This... White? That's not white! That's blue! <laughs> yeah, just jump down to the blue box, and then these jumps I would recommend doing, like, the 12 stuff thing, where you align yourself with the edge, and then just don't jump and, uh, shift lock. Don't jump and shift lock for those, because they would be... It wouldn't end well, basically, because you would, you would bounce off because it's a ramp. But this part, just kinda hug the wall until about here, and then you can just jump. Then you can jump down to here, jump up to here, and these wraps, just simple stuff. Just keep going up. You can do a stick out here, or you can just go on the ramp and then jump up, but I like to do a stick out. Then you don't want to go in there, you want to just jump down to this stud. I mean, this set of studs. Jump down on this ramp, then you don't want to jump down there, you want to jump on top of these little swinging platforms like this. Jump on here. It's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a far jump, so just kind of treat it as you will. Then just do a little head hitter up to the... Next part of 4-3. I was going to say 4-4, four, four, but this is not 4-4. Four, four. This, this jump is a bit weird, so just, uh, go at the very edge and then do the head hitter. Then you can just jump down to here. And this jump, I would recommend treating it like a 12 stud, just because it makes it a bit easier. Then this jump, same thing, just go to the edge and then jump. Same thing with this one. Then you just do a little head hitter. Then just keep going along, and now you're at 4-4. Four, four. And just now, I mean, starting off at 4-4, four, four, you go back to 4-3. Good gameplay. Anyway, go on these wedges, and then you're actually at 4-4. Just go up like that, and then these ones, you can, you can do them as slow as you want, but there's literally no punish of failing these head hitters. Just jump in the middle of them. Then you want to jump back down to 4-3, and then you go to 4-4. <laughs> but starting off at 4-4, go on this truss, which is what the little purple block is there for, just to make sure you know where to go. And then it's got a few head hitters. Just kind of do it from... Don't treat it like there's not a, like they're not half. Just tr like treat them like just do stick outs from like the corner of it. it. Makes it a lot easier. Then just jump down to here, do a little wrap, and then this uh this little spinner this uh well I mean first you want to go over here, jump on here. But this spinner can be deadly if you're uh, we're not even at the spinner yet. I don't know what I'm talking about. You want to go in here first. And then you want to do a little jump up. And then once you're here, you get to do the spinner. This spinner can be very bad if you don't know what you're doing. So basically, jump when it's about there. Jump when it's about there. And I'm going to demonstrate it. 
like that and if you don't think you're gonna make it just keep just like slide your character slightly to the left like I did and now you're at floor five and this is a very long floor it's uh it's also pretty difficult I would say which is actually the difficulty of this tower this is a mid difficult tower but anyway starting off just jump over to here jump over to here and then this one you can just walk across you don't need to do anything special like jump in or anything like that but this one I believe you actually do have to jump yeah you do have to jump for that one then just keep going across jump at, jump when the when you're at the edge of the platform there go on this little half stud thing then go on these pushers this floor is a lot of pusher dumps for this one just kind of go to the side as much as possible without falling off and then just kind of do that in my opinion it makes them a lot easier but you can do them as you want but this jump this jump you go you have to go to the side for it and then just kind of go out like that it's a pretty tight jump so just be careful then you squeeze yourself in on these make sure you don't fall off I mean walk off really that jumps a bit far so don't underestimate it then just keep going across and this part uh, the little the little circle thing is can glide falls so you don't need to worry about that anyway then this wrap just kind of wrap around like that it's a bit weird but just kind of hug the wall when you actually land it and then this jump I would recommend doing in first person just so you can see where you're jumping just go to this thing and then do a little just go to the side like I said earlier then just keep going along on these wedges and these spinners uh, they don't carry you, your traction so just jump in the middle of them and by carry your traction I mean they don't carry you with them they are independent objects so just jump in the middle of them and you'll be good and then go into first person for these trust jumps as usual you're you're gonna barely touch the edge but you'll be good then do shift lock for that, that jump I don't know if you actually have to use shift lock but I just recommend doing it then just got a little stick out then you want to jump to the sh pusher stay on the side then do a little weird jump like that Then jump to there go over here and then hug the wall just hug the wall and I'm gonna go a bit fast just for the sake of recording but just hug the wall basically and then right here just go into first person make sure you're at the very edge of it and then jump makes it a lot easier and then this jump uh, I'm gonna treat it like a 12 sub by lining myself up with the edge and then just jumping without shift lock I'm gonna do the same thing here just to make it a bit more safe but anyway once you've done that you're out of floor 5 which I believe is uh, the second hardest floor the first hardest floor is uh, floor 10 but I don't really know why I'm ranking the difficulty of the floors because this is only a difficult so no one cares but anyway starting off in floor 6 just got some easy trust jumps this isn't this like could be effortless if it could it's just literally trust jumping but anyway now just jump down to the circle and then jump in the about here at the edge and then you can either go out of shift lock or be, stay in shift lock it doesn't matter what you do either way works but anyway uh, you don't need to do like a weird glitch trap or anything you can just jump on the side of this as it is slanted and just go down to here go over here I would recommend using the shift lock to no shift lock strap for this for these just because they're ball jumps technically then just hug the wall for this part like half of the cylinder is outside so just hug the wall like this and then just jump over to here jump down to here and then you don't need to do anything special and just jump down on these but this jump I would recommend doing in first person just jump in the middle of the truss and you'll be good and now we're at floor seven and these little poles they're all can quite false but these jumps do them in first person it makes them a ton easier that yeah I'm, I may be repeating myself a lot by saying do the truss jumps in first person but that's really what you got to do so just go to the very edge of these platforms then jump and this jump Basically, I might think you might think, oh, that's a really far jump, but there's actually an invisible truss right there. So just kind of jump in the middle of these triangles. As you can see, there's a little invisible truss that I'm climbing on right there. Anyway, after you do that, that just kind of go on this shovel, and you don't need to do anything special. You can just jump up like that. Then just go on here. Then you got another one of these. So just jump in the middle of the weird triangle things, and you can just do a normal jump down to there. Go on here. It's a bit of a far jump. But uh, yeah, just keep going along the shovers. I mean pushers. Sorry, it's getting a bit late. I'm a bit tired. Just go on the truss, and then you just got more truss jumps up until four eight. Ooh, that was a close one. Ugh, stressing. I don't even know why I'm stressed. I've beaten this tower. <laughs> anyway, just go on here. Now you're at four eight. But this this is where the tower stops messing around and it actually becomes difficult because this tower this floor got some hard. Not really hard, but long jumps. This one for starters, just kind of don't use, use shift lock and then don't use shift lock like that. It makes it a ton easier. 
then this jump just aim for about the like the side of that one and it makes it a lot easier then you just kind of jump down to here Whoop. jump over to here and then outside section don't mess up there's no catch zone go on this little wedge then just jump over to here then this is a slant platform so you can jump on it jump over to here and these poles are just all like, can't quite fall so you don't need to worry about them then jump when your when your cursor is about here and then you can make the jump and just do a little wrap over to here and then this little spinner thing you might think oh I have to jump on that no all you need to do is jump down here and then you can just let it take you I'm not pressing my keyboard at all I'm not pressing it at all and it took me back over to here I really like those spinner well then well then Looks like I'm going back to 4-8. Okay, I didn't get yeeted this time. That's pretty good. That's all fun. But for that, for the for this jump, make sure the spinner is not about to come when you do the jump, because the spinner can sometimes just bonk you if you do it at the, at the wrong time. But starting off with these racks, just kind of jump toward the stud at the end, and you'll be good. And I just got some simple jumps that don't need to be explained. This this tightrope just kind of put your mouse cursor on it while you're in third person, and you'll be, you'll just get on it. Anyway, moving on floor nine. This is basically the circle floor because we who doesn't love ball jumps? I don't have a good history with ball jumps just because of Tower of Shattered Dreams and Tower of Intense Solar Chaos. Oh yeah, I've beaten Intense Solar Chaos. It wasn't fun. Anyway, just jump down to this X pusher, and like, do the X pusher from the middle because that makes sense because it's a one stud X pusher. But for this wrap, just kind of go to the very end and wrap around like that. It makes it a lot easier on yourself because sometimes that jump can just screw you over if you're not careful. But anyway, once you've done that, just kind of go backwards on this, then jump down like that, and then just keep going up, and then you just want to go on this pusher, then just jump on this thing. And uh, you're at floor 10. So floor 9 is very quick. And floor 10 is the... It, it's the floor. It's the funny floor. Basically, floor 10 basically combines uh, components from all uh, floors. So it's pretty neat. So starting off with the first one, just standard jumps. Just off your ramps. Then ju jump, just walk down to there. Then you're at the second one. And I gotta say, I, pretty, I like this floor. But it's also the hardest floor. <laughs> so, I mean... Eh. Anyway, once you've done that, just jump down to here. And then you're at the third section. And just keep jumping around like I am. I don't really get how this section works, just because like, like none of the none of the floors are themed around a certain gimmick. They're just wedges. But anyway, moving on to the fourth one, just you gotta go up here, and then do a little jump into this hole. I would recommend jumping from about there, and you'll make it. Also, if you fall, it might look like there's a catch zone, but that's actually a conveyor that just plops you back down to floor five. So that's pretty great. So just don't fall, and you'll be good. Anyway, just keep going along like this. Jump over to here. It's a bit of a headbanger, so be careful. Then you just want to jump down to here. You're going to need to jump. It might look like you can walk, but I'm pretty sure you need to jump. Then just follow my lead. Just go on the wedges. Then on to the sixth challenge, go on these cylinders. Then you can just walk down this one. Walk down to here. Then jump over to here. Ignore that cube. I don't know why the cubes are there. Then just got some standard jumps. Then aim for the middle of that truss. And you're on the seventh section. Then you can just drop down here. Don't miss this jump to the truss. Please don't. Go down here. Go on this little weird triangle thing. Go on this X pusher. Then you want to jump to there. It's a bit of a weird jump, but you should be you should be fine. Moving on to the eighth section. It actually is an outside section, but luckily there's a catch zone on this outside section, so if you fall, you'll get teleported back. Anyway, starting off, just go on the very edge of these triangles, jump on here, go around to here, and then just got some easy, just jumps, not even wraps, I was gonna say wraps, but they're not even wraps, they're just jumps. And then you got the, you got the similar thing we saw in 4-8, so just jump in the middle of this, and sometimes this thing won't align you per correctly, so just kind of move around into the middle of it, and you'll be good. And you can jump on top of this, go over here. But I, I don't know if there's a catch zone on this part. I just know there's a, catch, uh, there's a catch zone over there. So just don't fall on this part. And anyway, once you've done that, you can just go on this ramp. And then you can go up. And ignore all these spinners. All these spinners are just for decoration. You can go in here. And now you're on the ninth challenge. Which is the hardest challenge, in my opinion. So just jump down to this ball. It's 
bit of a tight jump. Jump onto these balls. Go over here. Go on this ramp. Go on this ball. Then you, that 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 jump is a bit far, so just be careful. Then just go over here. Go on the sex pusher. Over here. Then just one more jump over to here. There you go. Then just jump on this ball. Then you're at the tenth challenge. And you might think, oh, what's the tenth challenge? There wasn't really a tenth floor. And it says, you are so close. Don't stop now. I don't like this challenge very much. And you'll see why in a bit. See this big red thing? This is a speed disabler. And see these yellow things? These are speed givers. Now, the gimmick is that if you touch that speed giver, it's also a conveyor. So just don't touch the speed giver. Don't try to jump up from here like I did. I tried to high jump this, and then I realized, oh, no, I wasn't supposed to touch the speed. But, yeah, if you uh, give, if you touch the speed, you just get all the way down there. You fall all the way back. Ooh. So just don't fall. Anyway, now just jump onto this truss. Go on here, and then just don't touch the speed. Just don't touch the speed. But once you get here, just go on the ball. Go on this little X pusher. And then there's the wind pad. Oh, <laughs> oh man, that's pretty funny. You know what? Well, I guess we're not going to win this video. Oh, but that that's pretty funny. That's actually pretty funny. But anyway, that's going to wrap it up here, guys. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon with another upload. See you soon.